Hello everyone, welcome back to this series called Finance Current Affairs, where we pick up some important financial topics and we try and discuss them with the help of different questions. So before starting with the topic, if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, then please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can be notified whenever a new video comes up. And if you want the free PDF of these, session, uh, these sessions, then you can join our Telegram group where we offer these free PDFs. The link is in the description below. Now, rather than moving on to the first question, we are going to cover the entire topic today. And at the end, we have the questions to assess your understanding about the topic. So what is going to be the topic of discussion today? It is the SEBI's board meeting decisions. So recently, SEBI held its board meeting where various decisions were taken. We are going to cover some of those, okay, especially the ones related to the IPOs. If you remember, I covered in one session certain proposals that SEBI has come up with to deal with the IPOs. So those proposals have been implemented in this very meeting and we are going to discuss those proposals which have actually come into picture now. Okay, so IPO, when I talk about IPO, various companies have invited public to subscribe to their shares. So when a company goes public to raise its funding by inviting people to subscribe to its shares, that's an IPO. Okay, there were various regulatory gaps which existed related to IPOs. That's why we saw a major stock price volatility as well. During this entire year, we have seen various IPOs. But with that, we have also seen a major pick and then sudden drop in the prices of the stock. So in order to tackle them, to bring about a bit of stability in the markets, to tackle the regulatory gaps, some IPO related proposals have been implemented by SEBI now. So these new set of rules relate to the IPO price bands. They relate to uh, whether the anchor investors can sell their shares immediately or they have certain lock-in period. If yes, should the lock-in period be extended or not? Then the disclosures about where the company is spending the money which it is raising through the IPOs and then whether the large shareholders can sell on the listing day their share, shares through the offer for sale or not. So all these rules which were proposed there have been implemented now. So let's discuss them one by one. Firstly, talking about the promoter selling their stake. See, when a company has not yet gone public, not yet invited public to subscribe to its shares, there are certain promoters who are already having a major stake in the company. Seeing them, you as an investor might also be interested in investing in that company. But when we see the promoter suddenly selling off their stake in the company, it feels that there is something dicey going on with the company. The company's financials might not be that good. And it basically shakes the investor confidence. If you are seeing that this company is a promoter, hai. suppose there is a startup, he has not made any profits and his promoters are selling their shares in the IPO, so the confidence of an investor in this company will not be able to subscribe to that company. Ka karna na Okay, so if promoters sell their major stake, sell kar denge, to investors will get this message that there is something going wrong with the company. In order to protect customers' uh, confidence from shaking, SEBI has taken the decision where the promoters, the large shareholders, they are not allowed to sell their entire stakes through offer for sale. By offer for sale, I mean that the existing shareholders are selling off their shares to the public. Okay, so what is the rule which SEBI has implemented now for the large shareholders? By large shareholders, I mean those who are having 20% or more stake in the company. Okay, more than 20% stake in the company. They cannot sell their entire holdings on the listing day. When the company is listed, when the IPO is going to be the large shareholders who have 20% stake in the company, mein, they are not allowed to sell their entire holdings. Up to 50% they can sell but not their entire holdings to prevent the customer, the investor's confidence from shaking. Alright, then there are rules for the those invest those shareholders as well who are having a lesser stake like ones who are having a lesser stake than 20 percent for them they uh, the offer for sale should not exceed more than 10 percent of the holding which they have so large shareholders ke liye zyada hai as compared to the ones who are having less than 20 percent stake so this is going to prevent the investors trust from going away in the ipo market 
large shareholders usually sell their holdings in an offer for sale as far as the current market is concerned and if i talk about the new age companies okay which are neither having a good track record which are neither having a good reputation they are say some startups which are going for an ipo so if suddenly the promoters are going to exist uh, exit the market then the confidence of the retail investors uh, will basically be shaken up all right now moving ahead to the next decision that relates to the spending the proceeds from public raising when you are raising certain money through ipos from the public okay now if you are not telling them where you are going to invest this money if you are not mentioning about the projects which you are going to undertake acquisitions which you are under, going to undertake the targets which you have to spend this money then you have to adhere if you are not disclosing all that then you need to adhere to the sebi laws agar aap logo ko nahi bata rahe ho ki aapka ye paisa hum kahan reuse karne ja rahe hain then there is a restriction and the restriction is that companies can use only 25% of the proceeds for the unidentified acquisitions aapne nahi bataya ki ye paisa raise karke hum is company ko acquire karenge is business ko acquire karenge is market ko acquire karenge तो आप 25% से ज्यादा पैसा बिना डिस्क्लोज किए नहीं यूज कर सकते हो ओके यू कैन ओनली यूज 25% इफ यू हैव नॉट मेंशनड अबाउट दिस इन द ऑफर डॉक्यूमेंट दिस रूल इज नॉट एप्लीकेबल इफ यू आर टेलिंग अबाउट दैट इन द ऑफर डॉक्यूमेंट अगर आप डिस्क्लोज कर रहे हो कि हम यहां पैसा यहां यहां यूज करेंगे तब भी लोग आपको आपके शेयर सब्सक्राइब करें देन इट्स नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम ऑलराइट नाउ टेकिंग इनटू कंसीडरेशन ऑल द काइंड ऑफ इनऑर्गेनिक ग्रोथ प्रोजेक्ट्स और द जनरल कॉपोरेट बिजनेस आप जनरल बिजनेस के लिए कुछ पैसा इन्वेस्ट करना चाहते हो पैसा या ग्रोथ इन अनऑर्गेनिक ग्रोथ इनिशिएटिव के लिए आप वो मनी यूज करना चाहते हो लाइक यू वॉन्ट टू एक्वायर सम बिजनेस रैदर दैन स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम स्क्रैच इफ यू वॉन्ट टू एक्वायर बाय सर्टन एग्जिस्टिंग बिजनेस सो इन टोटल इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्पेंड द मनी ऑन वेरियस इनऑर्गेनिक ग्रोथ प्रोजेक्ट्स और वेरियस जनरल कॉपरेट पर्पसेज देन द कम्बाइंड लिमिट इज थर्टी फाइव परसेंट अगर आप डिस्कलोज नहीं कर रहे हो तो थर्टी फाइव परसेंट से ज्यादा पैसा भी आप वहाँ यूज नहीं कर सकते अदर देन दैट वट एवर मनी इज बींग रेस्ड the rating agencies are going to monitor you that how you are actually using the funds the money should be used in proper interest okay that's the reason why this very decision has been taken by sebi now coming to the next decision which is related to lock in period for the anchor investors now talking about anchor investors anchor investors are the ones who are basically invited that they should subscribe to the shares of the company before it goes for an ipo सो जनरल पब्लिक को सीधा शेयर्स इशू करने से पहले जो इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर्स हैं बड़े बड़े इन्वेस्टर्स हैं उनको आप ऑप्शन देते हो कि वो पहले शेयर्स खरीद लें इफ पीपल विल सी दैट ओके दीज बिग इंस्टीट्यूशनल इन्वेस्टर्स आर इन्वेस्टिंग इन दिस कंपनी देन इट विल जैज अप द इशू दे विल ऑल्सो बिकम अदर रिटेल इन्वेस्टर्स विल ऑल्सो बिकम इंटरेस्टेड इन इन्वेस्टिंग इन द कंपनी बड़े बड़े इन्वेस्टर्स किसी कंपनी में पैसा लगा रहे हैं तो आपको एज ए रिटेल इन्वेस्टर लगेगा ये कंपनी अच्छी है तो आप भी इन्वेस्ट करोगे सो दो दे आर एंकर इन्वेस्टर्स ओके द एंकर इन्वेस्टर्स आर ब्रॉट इन टू जैज अप द आई पी ओ बाई दी कंपनीज बट वॉट हैपन सपोज टूडे एंकर इन्वेस्टर्स हैव इन्वेस्टेड इन द कंपनी एंड टूमोरो से दी आई पी ओ कम्स अप एंड यू कंसिडरिंग दैट ओके दिस इन्वेस्टर हैज इन्वेस्टेड इन दिस कंपनी आई शुड ऑल्सो इन्वेस्ट सो दे ऑल्सो इन्वेस्ट आपने देखा जोमैटो में बड़े बड़े लोगों ने पैसा लगाया आपने भी उसमें इन्वेस्ट कर दिया उनके शेयर्स खरीदे and then you saw that these anchor investors suddenly left the market 30 days ka lock in period tha 30 days ke baad wo chhod ke chale gaye company then you start thinking okay there is some problem so when the lock in period is less and suddenly a lot of investors start moving out of the market then it will have a negative impact on the stock prices baki log bhi exit karne lagenge and we will see a major fall in the prices this is what happened with zomato with paytm as well so the shares of zomato sank 8.8% when the anchor investor exited within one month of lock in period 197 communications the paytm's parent its shares also plunged 13% on in december as anchor investors stopped sold their holdings so jab anchor investors bahut jaldi market chhod ke chale jate hain jo unhone investment ki thi wo wapas withdraw back kar lete hain to wo investors ka retail investors ka confidence usse affect hota hai and they also started withdrawing their investment so with that regard in order to cater to that very problem sebi has increased the lock in requirement for the anchor investors so abhi tak jo 30 days ka lock in period tha usko bada ke 90 days kar diya gaya hai to prevent this price volatility and the losses which the retail investors who have invested in that market 
invested in that share have to face this is applicable to 50% of the holding of these anchor investors puri holding pe nahi hai lock in period 50% of the holdings pe hai then the regulator observe the presence of institutional and anchor investors offers confidence but when they exit then the stock price turn volatile so in order to prevent this situation this rule has been implemented now all right i hope the things are clear now then another thing is that they have increased the price band that they have told that at least a difference of 5% should be there between the floor price and the upper price because existing price band was extremely narrow what do we mean by price band see price band is that when company offers an ipo it invites people to subscribe for its shares it mentions certain band that okay this is the lower price this is the upper price and within this range you have to subscribe to the company shares जैसे सेवेंटी टू एटी या सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी फाइव के बीच आप इस कंपनी के शेयर सब्सक्राइब कर सकते हो एंड सपोज द कंपनी इज ऑफरिंग टेन थाउजेंड शेयर इन दी मार्केट ओके नाउ वेन द पीपल सब्सक्राइब अराउंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड सब्सक्रिप्शन के मैम दस हजार के शेयर आपने ऑफर करने थे ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड शेयर के लिए इन एप्लीकेशन आई ओके सम वन वाइट माइट है सेवेंटी सम फॉर सेवेंटी वन सेवेंटी टू सेवेंटी थ्री सेवेंटी फोर सम फॉर सेवेंटी फाइव सो now the companies can company can just allot 10000 shares so what it will see it will see uh, how much the bids came for at what price the people are ready to buy the uh, stock price of the company so that they can actually uh, specify the price then a cut off rate will be mentioned okay we are saying that this is the cut off 72 73 us price pe ya uske upar jinhone bhi subscribe kiya unhe shares allot kar denge remaining ones will be returned back their money so this is the price band a uh, upper and a lower level is provided and the people subscribe and based on the cut off price they are allotted the shares remaining are refunded the money so they have widened the price band which were uh, which was earlier quite narrow then the last is that the non institutional investors had a 15% quota in ipo so jo non institutional investors hai jo bade bade investors nahi hai non institutional investors jo hai unka ek quota hai ki 15% ipo unko allot kiya jayega उसका फर्दर बाइफकेशन सेबी ने दे दिया सेबी हैज फर्दर बाइफकेटेड दिस एंड इट हैज टोल्ड दैट द वंस हु कम अप विद एप्लीकेशन साइज ऑफ टू लाख टू लेस देन टेन लाख फॉर देम वील हैव वन थर्ड कोटा रिजर्व आउट ऑफ दिस एंड फॉर द रिमेनिंग एंड द रिमेनिंग कोटा विल बी फॉर द वंस हु आर सब्सक्राइबिंग फॉर मोर देन टेन लाख सो ये फर्दर बाइफकेशन क्लियर कर दिया गया है so this was related to ipo one more thing which is left is related to preferential issue so when instead of offering the shares to the public at large you uh, basically select certain group of investors to whom the securities are allotted and when the time comes that you need to repay them okay say the company when goes into bankruptcy then before common stock holders these preferential holders will be given the first preference okay so sebi has approved certain measures related to them also it has uh, these measures basically aim at reducing the holding period for investors the pre who participate in the preferential issue inka holding period kam kiya gaya hai to bring it in line with the other investors so for the promoters okay first is for the promoters who have up to 20% of the paid up capital for them the existing lock in period was 3 years and it has been reduced to 18 months for promoters having a uh, shares allotment of more than 20% therefore them now the lock in period will be 6 months which was earlier 12 months and for non promoters the lock in period will be 6 months which was earlier 12 months so this has been done to bring them in line with those other investors who are not given a preferential issue then coming to the next set of rules so ipo related jo measures the ye sabse important hai inke bare mein aapko pata hona chahiye ipos kafi zyada news mein rahe hain to ye decision is abhi ka important hai remaining ones are some simple ones let's discuss them very briefly so one rule is related to the appointment or reappointment of people as the directors so if in a general meeting in a shareholders general meeting say the proposal of accepting someone appointing someone or reappointing someone as a managing director as a whole time director or as a manager was rejected and that person wants to get appointed or reappointed then that can be done only with the prior approval of shareholders agar general meeting mein bhi unko 
अपॉइंट नहीं किया गया उसके बावजूद वो फिर अपॉइंट या रीअपॉइंट होना चाहते हैं देन प्रायर अप्रूवल की जरूरत है शेयर होल्डर्स का उसके बिना वो अपॉइंटमेंट या रीअपॉइंटमेंट नहीं होगी नेक्स्ट इज अनदर इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट रिलेट्स टू ऑल्टरनेटिव इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड सो एक नया ऑल्टरनेटिव इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड इंट्रोड्यूस किया गया है फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स डिस्कस वॉट आर ऑल्टरनेट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड Just like a money is pooled in case of say a mutual fund, here also money is pooled, but it is privately pooled. That by that I mean that the money is collected from really very sophisticated and high net worth investors. जो बड़े बड़े investors हैं उनसे पैसा pool किया जाता है and that money is invested for the benefit of the investors. That money will be invested in different types of projects. ओके सो दे आर अनकन्वेंशनल फाइनेंशियल असेट्स एक तो होता है स्टॉक को इशू कर दिए बॉन्ड इशू कर दिए दे आर कन्वेंशनल असेट ऑल्टरनेटिव इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड अनकन्वेंशनल है थोड़ा ज्यादा रिस्की है इट्स अ बिट मोर रिस्की एंड कॉम्प्लेक्स इन नेचर सो इफ आई गिव यू सम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ ऑल्टरनेट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड वी हैव द वेंचर कैपिटल फंड प्राइवेट इक्विटी फंड हेच फंड एंजल फंड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर फंड सो वॉट हैपन्स इन ऑल दीज द मनी इज रेज एंड इट्स इन्वेस्टेड इन से सम काइंड ऑफ अ स्टार्टअप सम काइंड ऑफ अ इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट some companies which are not doing well and you want to change its management its board to make it more profitable so there this money is is invested so these are some leading examples of your alternate investment funds i'm going to use one term ahead so let me clear that term beforehand only aage main discuss karungi ki ek naya fund introduce kiya ke ja raha hai category 1 alternate investment funds ke andar सो वॉट आर कैटेगरी वन ऑल्टरनेट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड ये जो ऑल्टरनेट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड है इनकी अलग अलग कैटेगरीज बना दी गई है इन द फर्स्ट कैटेगरी वी हैव दो फंड विच आर गोइंग टू गेट इन्वेस्टेड इन डिफरेंट स्टार्टअप इन डिफरेंट अर्ली स्टेज वेंचर्स इन सर्टन सोशल वेंचर्स इन स्मॉल मीडियम इंटरप्राइजेस इन इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और इन दोज एरियाज वेयर और एरियाज विच द गवर्नमेंट कंसिडर एज सोशली और इकोनॉमिकली डिजायरेबल सो वहाँ जो पैसा इन्वेस्ट हो रहा है जो फंड वहाँ इन्वेस्ट करते हैं वो कैटेगरी वन फंड के अंडर आते हैं सो अंडर दिस फंड सेबी इन दिस वेरी मीटिंग हैज डिसाइडेड टू इंट्रोड्यूस वन मोर फंड दैट इज स्पेशल सिचुएशन फंड स्पेशल सिचुएशन फंड एक नया फंड है जो कैटेगरी वन ऑल्टरनेट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड के अंडर इंट्रोड्यूस किया जा रहा है it's very important considering the situation of npas growing in india the setting up of bad bank uh, the ibc resolution process going on so what we have seen we have seen that there are stressed assets a lot of stressed assets there are certain loans uh, which are not yet recovered and they go and the companies go under the resolution plan of ibc or there are companies which are in deep distress kind of a situation okay their assets need to be sold off to to recover the amount then the asset reconstruction companies issue the security receipts we discussed about that when we talked about the bad bank as well so all these things get covered under the stress assets and this fund is going to invest in those stress assets तो so, जैसे वेंचर कैपिटल है ये सब जो फंड्स हैं ये नई कंपनीज में जो स्टार्टअप्स वगैरह हैं वहाँ पैसा इन्वेस्ट करता है ऐसे स्पेशल सिचुएशन फंड वहाँ इन्वेस्ट करेगा जहाँ पे स्ट्रेस्ड असेट्स है बेसिकली स्ट्रेस्ड असेट्स में ये पैसा इन्वेस्ट होगा उनके रेजोल्यूशन में ये हेल्प करेगा सो वी हैव द स्ट्रेस्ड लोन एंड विच आर पार्ट ऑफ रेजोल्यूशन प्लान अंडर आई बी सी वी हैव सिक्योरिटी रिसिप्ट ऑफ ए आर सीज वी हैव सिक्योरिटीज ऑफ कंपनीज इन डिस्ट्रेस सो ऑल दीज आर कवर्ड अंडर स्ट्रेस असेट्स एंड दिस फंड इज गोइंग टू इन्वेस्ट ओवर देयर सो मिनिमम इन्वेस्टमेंट जो एक इन्वेस्टर करेगा वो दस करोड़ है एक रिलेटेड इन्वेस्टर्स के लिए वो फाइव करोड़ है मिनिमम कॉर्पल्स जो है वो हंड्रेड करोड़ है इट मीन्स टोटल मनी विच इज टू बी इन्वेस्ट इन दिस स्कीम बाई द इन्वेस्टर्स और राइट सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द ऑल्टरनेट इन्वेस्टमेंट फंड next coming to another amendment or another decision taken by sebi which relates to the mutual fund so sebi has said that the mutual fund the it will be mandatory for the funds to follow indian accounting standards from 2023 24 onwards we already have the accounting standards which are being followed certain rules regulations that need to be adhered to in order to which deal with basically how you need to do the accounting how you need to disclose the financial statements so in order to bring those accounting standards in line with the international standards the indian accounting standards were introduced which were to be implemented in the phased manner so indian accounting standards of mutual funds ke case pe bhi applicable honge 2023 24 onwards iske alawa ek aur decision jo liya gaya hai that is that the mutual fund trustees need the consent of the unit holders 
when they decide to wind up the scheme. कोई म्यूचुअल फंड स्कीम है आप उसको वाइंड अप करना चाहते हो तो वो आप बिना यूनिट होल्डर्स के कंसेंट के नहीं कर सकते हो सो दीज आर टू अमेंडमेंट दैट रिलेट टू म्यूचुअल फंड एंड द लास्ट इज अमेंडमेंट रिलेटेड टू दी स्टॉक ब्रोकर्स टू द डिपोजिटरी पार्टिसिपेंट एंड ऑल दैट सी देर आर ट्रेडिंग मेंबर्स लाइक वंस हु आर गोइंग टू ट्रेडिंग मेंबर्स आर बेसिकली दी वंस हु बेसिकली गो फॉर द ट्रेड इन दी स्टॉक मार्केट ऑन देयर ओन अकाउंट और फॉर देयर क्लाइंट्स अपने क्लाइंट के लिए या अपने खुद के बिहार पे आप ट्रेडिंग कर रहे हो देन वी हैव सेल्फ क्लियरिंग क्लियरिंग एंड प्रोफेशनल क्लियरिंग मेंबर्स द वंस हु आर परफॉर्मिंग द क्लियरिंग एंड सेटलमेंट टेकिंग दी ऑर्डर्स एग्जीक्यूटिंग दैम सेटलिंग दी ऑर्डर्स who so ever has bought the shares providing them with the shares who whoever has sold the shares providing them with the money so carrying out that entire settlement and clearing procedure is the role of these clearing members then we have the depository participants depository is basically where the securities are held in the electronic form in dematerialized form and depository participants act as the agents and they who help the investors securities to get basically to open to open the dematerialized account and hold these securities in the electronic form so there are certain net worth requirements that who is eligible to be a trading member a clearing member a depository participant so related to that the net worth requirement has been revised all right and the fees the deposit uh, which is required in case of electronic gold receipt segment that has also been revised so this was these amendments were briefs basically one the most important one is the that related to the ipo secondly you must be aware about the special uh, fund special situation fund created for the stressed assets these are the two most important decisions this was all about the decisions let's come to the questions now so the first question says when the promoters of companies sell their entire stake in the company it's bound to shake investor confidence in ipo SEBI addressed the ongoing trend of promoters selling their stake through IPO imposing new rules which bar the large shareholders with more than dash stake in the company to sell their entire holdings however they can sell 50% so large shareholders kaun se hain jo 50% se zyada apni holdings listing day pe sell nahi kar sakte the ones who have stake of 20 more than 20% so answer is option b now coming to the second question that says markets regulator sebi increased the lock in period for anchor investors to prevent share price volatility and losses for the retail investors that will apply only to 50% of the allocation to in these investors so inme se kaun sa statement correct lock in period state karta hai the existing lock in period was 30 days which has been increased to 90 days right we discussed about it already you can see over here we increase it from 30 to 90 days okay so the first option is correct answer is option a next moving on to the last question now that says sebi board in its meeting approved the amendment to the alternate investment fund regulations to introduce which sub category alternate fund under category 1 aifs that invest only in stressed assets so kaun sa fund create kiya gaya hai jo sirf stressed assets mein invest karega its option c special situation fund okay so this was all for today's session i hope it was useful for you all with this i would like to end up this session thank you so much